Hey everyone, just another quick YouTube video. I got some new information since my last video. Um, and so I thought I would create another video to share uh, my experience trying to program a Bay Fung radio. This time I'm going to try to make it a step by step. Uh, and I'll try to include some of the gotchas that got me along the way. Uh, so of course you'll first want to start off with a uh, Bay Fung radio and the, uh, the programming cable that goes along with that and your your computer all right so the highlights of this video will be the fact that I've learned how to use the chirp software and be able to delineate the transmit and receive frequencies to be separate I couldn't figure out how to do that before and I've since learned that so chirp is of course everybody's favorite program uh, the Beifeng software uh, can be a little bit more cumbersome. So um, I suggest you use Chirp. I'm going to include links for the Chirp software, the Beifeng software, uh, and additionally um, a driver that you'll probably need for your USB cable. Uh, and that's the first gotcha. Uh, I've learned that um, installing the version 3.4, which I think might have been what came with my cable, um, or Windows may have by default. Uh, I've learned that that version doesn't work with my cable and that I need to, uh, to downgrade the, the version to 3.2. So I have that for available for download. Uh, so the first thing step is to simply plug in your USB cable. Uh, don't don't uh, run the so any of the other software yet. Uh, plug in your USB cable and go to uh, your device uh, manager and see how how it does. So I'm going to right click on computer properties device manager and as uh, as I expected um, I have a little trouble symbol next to um, my USB cable. So uh, what we want to do is go in here and choose uh, update software if that's an option browse I want to pick it myself uh, and it's not giving me the choice to you what we're looking for is the version 3.2 so uh, what I'm going to do next is um, run the driver I've already downloaded it to this computer and this is the prolific 3.2 version that I was talking about and what we'll need to do is install this. And then regrettably, we'll probably need to restart the computer uh, after this, uh, this gets installed. Finished. All right. So we'll be back in a minute. Uh, we'll see how that worked. All right. So I'm back. Uh, let's see what happens. So I'm going to go back to start, right click on computer properties. I'm looking for the device manager. And look at that. I don't have any bad symbols. Very good. Now, if you still have a, um, a little symbol here, what you want to do is right click uh, and choose update driver software and browse my computer for software let me pick and um, frequently you'll get a choice of uh, the version 2 3.2 or the version 3.4 uh, and in this case we're going to um, stick with the well in this case it's not giving us a choice that's weird uh, but that was a common problem uh, that I had had so um, the next step here is to note now that we've resolved that exclamation point, the next important step is to note what COM port we're using. In this case, we're using COM5. All right, so we noted uh, COM5. Uh, and as I mentioned before, you want to make sure that that cable's plugged in before you open up the Bay Fung software. You're going to have a problem. Um, for me, the program just continuously flashed on the screen like it was opening and closing itself and I had to end tasks to get out of the loop 
Uh, and I couldn't figure out why. I thought it was a driver video issue, something weird. Uh, and it just turns out that uh, that I didn't have the cable plugged in. So that was kind of annoying. So there's another gotcha uh, to save you some time. Uh, let's fire off that software. We got our cable plugged in. And so here is the software. And of course, if you haven't done anything yet, the first thing to do is always to receive your program uh, from from your radio. So I'm plugging my radio in right now and turning it on. And I'm going to go under communication here to make sure that it is set on COM5. And it was. Uh, and then I'm going to choose read from radio. Click read. The lights are flashing on the uh, radio indicating that it's sending its signal. And there you go. You can see that I've already programmed this radio and that uh, there are um, 18 frequencies in here. So, uh, and as I mentioned before, the cool thing about this software was it had a column for receive and then a column for transmit. Uh, and so, uh, as I mentioned in my last video, this uh, 467.5625 5, is actually an FRS channel because if I were to accidentally transmit uh, while, while uh, monitoring police and fire and other EMS uh, types of services, I would hate to be broadcasting on those channels. Um, and there's federal laws and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, but I can show you now uh, that I know I can show you how to do this with the uh, Chirp software. So um, you put your transmit and receive frequencies in or receive and transmit frequencies in. And then you skip over here to, um, to naming each channel. It uh, looks like you get uh, six characters. I think that includes any spaces. So you're a little limited there, but uh, you get uh, alpha uh, characters and numeric characters there. Uh, and then this is, of course, the, um, the scan. So the channels that have the on by them uh, will scan uh, when I have it in scan mode. And then, of course, most of the channels you can see uh, I have it off, so I would have to manually... Uh, go to that channel to 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 monitor the traffic and of course the bis big disadvantage with this device is I can only change that in the software um, most scanners would let you do that right from the scanner right you can it was usually called lockout uh, so that it doesn't scan a particular channel you can't change that so that's one disadvantage to to using this device but then again we're talking about $30 radios here right so um, keep that in mind Okay, so, and then the other thing uh, I like to put in here is transmission power. Uh, I always set it to low again uh, if I do accidentally transmit. Um, I am using this as a scanner. So for this application, I set all of the transmit powers to low. And then also if you need to uh, change um, some features under I think it's optional features here. You can change um, a couple of things you'll want to change for sure. The work mode, set it to channel so it defaults to your, your channel mode instead of frequency mode when you turn it on. Uh, under um, channel mode, you'll want to choose channel plus name. Uh, I think the default was channel plus frequency. Uh, assuming you're putting in alpha uh, characters to describe your channels uh, like I did, uh, you'll want channel plus name. Another really big one is to choose CO uh, instead of TO. The default is TO. Um, and that's a little annoying. What you'll get with TO is is, is uh, after a set amount of time, uh, the scanner will just start scanning again, even uh, if it um, is still there's still uh, talk on that frequency. Uh, whereas if you set it to uh, CO, it'll wait to start scanning again until... Uh, it no longer detects that transmission. So um, took me a little while to figure that one out, uh, but the TO can be a little annoying because you'll miss stuff um, if you want to hear the whole transmission. So lots of other settings here you can play with as well, uh, but those are the biggies that we were going for. Uh, and then, of course, save your work. Um, save it as a file. Uh, I've got a file on here so you can save your configs if you ever need to reprogram your radio or 
or uh, program another one, that sort of thing. Uh, and then if I want to send any of my changes back to the radio, I choose Write to Radio. Make sure my radio's on and plugged in and choose Write. And now it's sending the program uh, back to the radio. And we'll close out of here. And next we will work on the Chirp software. All right, so next we'll open up the Chirp software. And this seems to be the popular uh, programming software of choice. Uh, so always the first thing, as I mentioned, is download uh, from the radio unless you already have a config file to open up. And so make sure my radio is on and plugged in. Uh, I think we need to switch this to COM5, Beifeng. I have the UV-5R, and it looks like it's working. Got little lights flashing that it's transmitting. All right, so here is the program uh, that's in my radio. And um, very much similar setup here, except uh, you see the frequency. You only see uh, this frequency column over here. This is the uh, receiving frequency. And should you want to um, delineate a separate uh, or different um, transmit frequency, uh, what you do is you come over here and under duplex, you make sure that you choose split and then uh, the offset uh, will be the transmit frequency. And again, this is an FRS um, channel 8, I think it is, uh, 467.562500. Uh, um, and I'm always going to default to low. Uh, when I'm using this as a scanner. So I'm going to choose low um, power. I think it broadcasts at one watt instead of, I remember if it was four or five or six watts that these radios uh, can do. Um, and then, of course, here's my alpha naming column right here. So you can put in to up to six characters. And then for scanning, you have a skip. Uh, S is for skip. S isn't for scan, it's for skip. So uh, these first two channels uh, are set to scan, uh, and then these next uh, bunch of channels are, are skip and so on. Uh, so, uh, and keep in mind, you can't change that from the radio, or at least I don't know how. Maybe if somebody does, they can leave a comment below. Uh, it'd be really nice to figure that out, to be able to, to change that. But um, from the little bit I know so far, uh, that's not an option. Uh, and then um, there's a settings tab here. Uh, you're looking for those same settings that we just reviewed in uh, the Beifeng software. Um, they might be worded just a little bit differently, uh, but one of them, uh, here's the scan resume. It's set to CO, right? We want to choose CO instead of TO. Uh, and you can play with some of these other ones or look them up on, on uh the chirp website if you need some more information changes to channel mode so that when you turn your uh, scanner on it it defaults to channel mode instead of frequency mode um, and those would be the big ones uh, and again you can go through here and play uh, with some of the different settings and so on but if you get those you should be good and just like the Beifeng software you'll want to save a config file uh, I already have one out here We'll overwrite it, save any changes we made. And then, of course, don't forget to upload any changes that you made back to your radio. And click OK. And that is it. Uh, a couple other um, quick reminders. is uh, when you're done programming your radio, just uh, for peace of mind, if you do happen to have an FRS radio, it's a great idea to hit the transmit button uh, to test 
uh, to see to make sure you're not broadcasting on those uh, those public safety frequencies. Uh, and then the other thing to note is just simply that you know these these scanners are cheap scanners. Uh, you can buy them for for as little as thirty dollars or less, depending on which model you get. They're not probably for everybody. Um, I spent a lot of hours uh, working through a few of those gotchas and uh, had a lot of trouble with it. If if you're technically inclined um, and you want to put a little bit of time into it, I expect uh, that most of you will will uh, put have to put a little effort into getting these to work. Uh, so this this radio might not be for you. Uh, one other gentleman commented on one of my uh, other videos that uh, he thought the radio was way too small. Uh, for his hands um, and that the display was additionally too small and um, I'm not sure that uh, that that's a concern for me but it might be for you uh, so you want to keep that in mind um, but uh, I'm just sharing information with you here and I hope it was helpful please leave uh, comments if you like the video please click like um, if you don't just go somewhere else uh, and if you have something constructive to say uh, leave it in the comments below Thanks for watching.